Hey, hello, it's Nada Monroe. Welcome back to my channel. So today is China D's premiere video on YouTube. Everybody say, hey, China D. She is my two-year-old, and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this very cute toddler girl's hairstyle. First, I am rinsing out all of the product from this past week out of her hair, and then I am going to be shampooing her hair with Coconut Curls by OGX. This little girl loves to get her hair shampooed. It's her favorite part. Um, anytime I say, you know, come get your hair washed, she jumps up. She's ready to get on top of the counter. Now, remember, you do not have to shampoo your child's hair while they're on the countertop. If your child likes to do it while they're in the bathtub, which I know most of them don't, but if they do, just do it like that. Do whatever you got to do in order to get it done, but you also don't want to make it an unpleasant time for them. You want them to enjoy getting their hair done. So I'm just shampooing her hair and rinsing it and everything. You know you want to do it two times just to make sure you get everything out because I do use a whole lot of products so I just want to get her hair nice and clean. So now after I go ahead and shampoo the second time and rinse it out thoroughly, remember to make sure that the water runs clear. I'm going to be using Cantu Deep, um, Deep Hair Mask Treatment and I'm just putting that a whole lot of that all in her hair. This is going to help with slip and then I'm going to comb out any tangles. I'm going to use this big tooth comb. I'm going to use my hands and what you want to do is just make sure that the hair doesn't pull at the scalp. That's what makes it really com uncomfortable for them and they don't like to get their hair done from that. So as you can see, I'm helping with the process by pulling the hair apart with my fingers so that it's not pulling from her head so she doesn't even feel it. And then I go back in with the comb to finish it off. And she is about to get, you know, a little fidgety because she is still a two-year-old. So I'm about to go ahead and let her sit up. You're gonna see, you know, that I just continue, just move with the child. All right, so after I rinsed it out, I did let the hair mask sit in for 20 minutes. I rinsed it all out thoroughly, and now I'm taking my large tooth comb and detangling it some more. So I'm going to do section by section. It's no specific size, but I'm just going through, making sure that it's thoroughly detangled. And then I'm going to put that hair in a plait. I don't use any heat in my child's hair. I do not want any heat in my child's hair. So I'm going to comb through section by section and just do plaits in there. That's going to keep the hair stretched and detangled. You, all right? you okay? Huh? Hey. We're on the last section. I'm just braiding that part down and then I'm going to go ahead and turn her around and let you guys see, you know, what it looks like. Nothing special. Oh, I also take the little hair mask and put it on her end so that once her ends dry, it's not dried out or brittle. Alright, show your hair. Wait. Yeah, it's China. It's China. Yeah. It's China. Yeah. It's China. <laughs> All right, so once our hair dries about 75 to 80 percent of the way, I'm going to go ahead and take the plaits out and start to style her hair. <laughs> So 
So now I'm gonna begin sectioning off the hairstyle that I'm doing. So I'm sectioning off ear to ear with a rat tail comb, trying to make that part as clean as possible. But remember, she is a two year old. They are kids, they don't stay still till they get a little older. So I'm just doing the best job that I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that off in a pony. Next, all the hair in the back, I'm gonna separate that in half, going straight down. So I try to use that little, you know, peak at her neck to you know do like a straight up and down what is that longitude latitude latitude whatever uh, up and down part and i am going to section one of those sides out and begin to create little bitty ponytails so this is the can to i believe refine and shine and i'm mixing that with eco styling gel and I am just going to proceed to create little ponies. So this is the first ponytail. I've put the mixture right there on there. And I'm using a rubber band to create a small ponytail. And she was moving a whole lot. So I had to do the rest of this off camera. So these are all of the ponytails. I created eight. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I style this. So what I did was twist the bottom two ponytails. And now you see I'm crossing it over to the other one using a rubber band to combine them two together. So I'm just crossing it over and combining the two. And then the ponytails that I now have that are next, I am going to proceed to combine all of that hair together. Twist it up as you see here. I'm just gonna twist the hair all the way down, both of those ponytails. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm gonna crisscross them both again i believe i did the right one first yep the right one is first put that in a ponytail and then i'm going to do that left one that's down there and i'm going to put that in the other ponytail and this is just creating you know just you know x's little crisscrosses you know a little cute updo it lasts her for at least a week so, um, yeah, look at her dancing. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to keep on going until I get all the way up to the last two ponytails. All right, so now I'm using the Coconut Curl Cream by Cantu. This puff is going to be out, so I'm using plenty of product on here. I want it to be super moisturized. I want her curls to be really defined. So I'm just rubbing that all throughout her hair to give her a lot of moisture, a lot of, you know, hydration, a lot of definition. And then I'm using the Eco right there around the sides in the front to be able to slick it up in a very nice ponytail. So I'm just going to go ahead and smooth all of that out and her hair is already detangled so nothing really bad is happening she's not in any kind of discomfort and i'm just putting her hair right up in the ponytail and as y'all can see it's a lot of product i try to explain to people this is why i wanted to make a video i try to explain to people that i use a whole lot of product and that's why china's hair looks so hydrated and the curls look so nice so now I'm going to take those two top last ponytails that were in the back. I'm going to twist that up just like I did all of the rest of them. And once I'm done twisting them both, I'm going to add them into the ponytail right there on top. And so I'm taking another little rubber band. Of course, I have to lay my babies, baby hairs or whatever. I like my baby with baby hair and puff balls. And this is the finished look. Oh, look at the camera. Oh, you look so pretty. Let's put some jewelry in it. I'm just a kid who's born each day. I grow some more. I 